of approaching the person of the Holy Virgin. We could emphasize her uniqueness, what makes her different, what makes her special. But secondly, we could also emphasize her closeness to us what she shares in common with us. Both of these approaches are essential. They don't conflict with each other. They balance each other. We need them both. First then, we may think of the uniqueness of the Mother of God. In all the history of the human race, only once has God become incarnate in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, in all the history of the human race, there is only one woman who is, in the full and literal sense, Mother of God. Yes, spiritually we are all called to bear God in our hearts. But she did not merely bear God spiritually, she bore him physically. So she is involved, as I've just been saying, in the work of redemption, vitally, directly, immediately, in a way that no other human person has ever been involved. But then, at the same time, we may think of how close she is to us. Though she had a unique task, yet she is at the same time our model next to Christ and under him, our model of what it is to be a human person. She is the mirror in which we see reflected our own true human face. She shows us what it means then to be a person according to the image and likeness of God what it means to be saved, to be deified. We call Christ the new Adam. So yes, he is our supreme example of what it is to be human. But he is a divine person. Next to Christ, we have Mary who is the new Eve. And she, of course, is a fully human person. So she is unique, yes, but she is also our example and our model. This is beautifully expressed in one of the hymns that the Orthodox Church uses at Christmas. What shall we offer you, O Christ, who for our sakes have appeared on earth as human. Every creature made by you offers you thanks. The angels offer you a hymn, the heavens a star, the wise men gifts, the shepherds their wonder, the earth its cave, the wilderness the manger. And we, offer you a virgin mother. In that hymn it is emphasized that the Blessed Virgin Mary, our model and example of what it is to be human, 
is the supreme offering that we members of the human race can make to God. Oh,